This is a brief tutorial on uh, flashing your BIOS and uh, why. I just got this motherboard. Um, I got it almost free, pretty much free. So I stuck a vacuum cleaner to it. And I'll be honest with you, if you've got a high end board, do not stick a vacuum cleaner on it. Uh, do everything you can to be very careful because it is electromagnetic or EMF uh, uh, sensitive. Um, the reason why you want to flash your BIOS is very simple. A motherboard, like all computers, are an integrated unit. That means each component has what they call firmware. Uh, that firmware works in conjunction with the CMOS and the BIOS to form a closely knit unit. And they work together like a symphony or in a cacophony of uh, of data movement and data processing. It's an automated system basically. Everything is automated and uh, the instructions get passed around. They need to know what exactly to do and to do it uh, flawlessly. So basically the reason why you flash your BIOS, in this case I just got it and uh, hang on I left the BIOS over here. Oh shit! Oh, I left the pin over here. I just the vacuum cleaner, be careful, the vacuum cleaner sucked this out. So I had to uh, pull it out of the vacuum cleaner and wash it off real quick. But that's how it got off there. Okay, let me do this real quick. Basically, your CMOS is right there. It's going to say BIOS on it. This is a ASUS motherboard. They're all pretty much the same. Um, if, you don't ha if you don't know where the CMOS or the uh, BIOS is, look in your manual. First thing you want to do is remove the battery. You have to remove the battery. I've done it with the battery. It still clears the CMOS. Doesn't matter, but technically, remove the battery as instructed. When you get the uh, when you get the motherboard or when it's brand new, you'll see it all the way on the right side here. There's a three-pin BIOS. You'll see it on the right side. Take the battery off. Uh, go ahead and pull it out and stick it on the left side so that you're doing the jumper cable count to 10 count to 3 whatever the minute you do that it's clear that's basically it put this back on the right side put the battery back I'll do it real quick there you go and now you should not have any type of uh, mismatch because uh, the systems or the components must be integrated into your system architecture so basically that is, or even if you have a new chip, you know, new new RAM, also you have to clear the CMOS and everything. But again, uh, basically it stores the, uh, the data or the firmware for previous components or even corrupted firmware. So that basically competes, com uh, completes the uh, CMOS and BIOS uh, reset and set to uh, default. Now what you want to do is you want to go into the BIOS when you start it up. It's going to take you right into it, and you have to configure it to the to the settings that you want. Mostly your drive, your boot uh, boot uh, 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 schematic. You know uh, basically which one you want to boot first, and um, you know graphics and all that stuff, goodies, and just go through there. If you overclock, then you're going to set your voltage on your uh, set your voltage on your uh, uh, CPU. Also, it'll tell you the RAM, and uh, also you you want to you want to boot you want to boot it. And if you can't boot it, then your first bet is going to be in your CMOS and your BIOS. Alrighty, good luck. And don't don't put a vacuum cleaner up on that. It will suck the little plastic piece out. Also, don't touch it like I'm doing right now. I did not electro uh, de electromagnetic or de static myself. Okay, this is a board I got free. It's a SIS, it's SIS chip board, chipset. Um, you know, at most it's worth maybe ten bucks or less. Probably ten bucks. To me, no big deal. Alrighty.